This presentation is intended to show you why and when you should use insights and what information can be found there and to give you an introduction to information research. Why should I use insights? Uh, insights uh, can help answer general or specific questions raised by members of an institution, whether they are students, researchers, or at the executive level. One could imagine many questions in this context, for example, what are the research areas of my institution, or which researchers publish in my field, etc. Insights. Insights is a bibliometric tool which enables you to compare and analyze the performance of research. While it is based on the data from the web of science, it differs from being an analytical layer. Therefore, it is not a platform for documentary research or reading scientific articles. The platform is accessible on the APFL campus and remotely with a VPN connection. Using insights require authentication. If you have already a user account on the Web of Science, you can use it. Uh, if you don't, you need to create one, which will also be valid for the Web of Science. The sources. Uh, Insights uses the data of uh, the Web of Science from 1980. This includes a large choice of journals, conference proceedings, and book indexes. Uh, as stated in the learning objectives, Insight is used for the comparison and analysis of scientific production. It allows you to measure scientific output between academic institutions, organizations, countries, cities, as well as researchers. It can also analyze scientific impact, that is, the influence of scientific publications on the progress of research by investigating research impact, key opinion leaders, research fundings, collaborations. Such information can help answering many questions the community of an institution is facing. Which organization produced the hottest research? Who is funding the hottest research? Who are the key opinion leaders in a given region or discipline, etc., etc. Available indicator, indicators measure the volume and research impact. They are grouped into different categories related to impact and productivity, normalization, that is to say comparison between equal entities over the same year and in the same domain, top performance, that is to say classification of results in the top, collaboration journal indicators. You will find the indicators description on the Insights helps, Help page. About 100 indicators are available. Uh, to prepare this session, I followed a short presentation on indicators in French on the web in which the trainer made two important advices. First one, not to limit the measurements to a single indicator. Second one, to compare like with like, not uh, mixing apples with oranges. He used the, the age index as example for comparing two researchers. In that case, be careful to compare researchers showing similar years of activity and similar areas of research. You will find the link of this effective session in the bibliography. Now, let's have a look how the tool is organized. 
On the home page of Insight, you will find three navigation options. The analysis option, the report option, and the organized option. In the analyze section, you can access ready to use analyze templates. Once you click on analyze, different modules are available to start your analysis. Different searches are available in these six modules. Uh, for example, you can search for a researcher by research ID or ORC ID. Or in the locations module, you can conduct a detailed geographic analysis. Let's move on to the short demo to answer the question, in which fields is my organization active? Start your, your search by organization name. Here I typed Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne. Uh, you can add different filters or indicators for answering your question. In our case, I only used the option refocused view, research areas the S entity has published in. When I received my result using a table, I chose to change the view mode for a schematic view. This is the one you can see. Uh, it can therefore be seen that over the past five years, EPFL has published the most in engineering, electrical and electronic, closely followed by material science. In the organized part, I can retrieve previous work I have saved in my files or on my dashboard, whose data is updating according to the update of insights once a month. This short bibliography ends my presentation. Thank you very much for attending.